Okay, um, I got the lace off. Naki, I was... Uh, uh, damn. Hell, uh, uh, fuck it. Hey y'all, it's your girl Yazi, and today I'm gonna be doing a wig application tutorial walkthrough type of video. I got this, I got this wig that's been going crazy on TikTok. It's called the Butter Lace. It's the Butter Lace wig. I think it's Unit Five, and it's by Sensational. Um, the box. <laughs> the box looks a hot mess, but that's besides the point but this is how it look i mean it ain't gonna look like mine because you know i've been in it but yeah it looks something like this i got the flambe on it flamboyant i don't know how to pronounce it but i got that wig i don't know if y'all can see that the um flamboyant Blonde, I think that's how it's printed. So y'all, I'm editing this right now and I just noticed it says flamboyage blonde. Yeah. Just ignore me saying flamboyant. I have no idea why I was saying that. Honestly, I got the blonde one with like ombre. Now when I got it, like, I'm not gonna lie, this don't really look blonde. It looks more brown to me and then it has like streaks of blonde. Like y'all can see here, like it got some streaks like right here, but it's like tucked underneath. So, yeah, it's still cute, but I do wish it was more blonde. But, yeah, the curl pattern is very pretty. I did try it on. It looks really retarded when you first put it on. It just needs a little work. But it definitely is going to be cute once you put the work in. And the inside, it has combs. It's only one. It's like a T part. They do. I know synthetic wigs tend to say they're a frontal when they're not really a frontal. But I guess they're counting this part as a frontal. But really, they should just say, like, it's a T part wig. Cause, I mean it literally looks like a T but yeah and it fits very tight it's not that much of a big girl big head friendly type of wig it's more like small girl small head friendly which I have a small head so that's a pro for me but it has three combs two right here and then one at the bottom and it fits very tight it's not that stretchy I mean it's kind of stretchy but not really but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a wig cap on and show you guys how I'm going to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace part right here. And I'm going to go in with some of my contour powder that matches my skin kind of. And I'm going to pat it. I'm going to take a makeup brush and like pat it on the inside just to help it better blend in with with my, um, my, uh, Thing. I can't get it out of my wig cap and then I'm gonna come back after I do that okay um I got the lace off now I was uh oh uh, damn hell oh uh, uh, fuck it while I was cutting off the lace I noticed that I cut off a lot of the edges on accident because I didn't notice how Thin they were like they're really thin looking like it's edges all right here y'all can't even see them because they're like they're so thin and like little like real baby hairs and I was not paying attention so <sighs> one side of the wig I accidentally cut off the edges but it's okay because I learned my lesson and the rest of the wig is fine and I could just cut my own edges but this is the contour palette I'm going to be using on the inside of my lace. I might use it on the top too, depending on how I'm feeling, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Sculpt one, the one that says Sculpt, just because that one looks a little bit lighter. And all I'm gonna do is just flip it and pat it on the lace part like this. And y'all see that? That color already there. You're just gonna blend it in and spread it out. And I'm gonna do that part off camera because I need to really like, I need it close to me and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be neat, it just needs to be thorough. I have the inside of the lace tinted with my contour powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put on, I'm taller than the camera right now, y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig cap and 
Dama put on the wig and we're gonna see what we're working with right now um since I got these big fat braids I'm gonna be putting on two wig caps just to kind of like hold them down a little bit more and yeah that's all I'm doing and I'm gonna time lapse that part because nobody really wants to see me putting on a wig cap like And I do not glue down my wig caps because I like to reuse them and I hate dealing with glue. Like, if you glue your stuff down, kudos to you. But me, I'm not gluing jack diddly squat down. Okay. I like to take my wigs off every night, y'all. Like, my scalp needs to breathe. <sighs> when I put my wigs on, my scalp be like, free me. Okay, but now I got my cap on. It's a little lumpy, a little wonky. But when you're dealing with curly hair, it don't, make, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. So I'm going to go ahead and put my wig on. Yes, this is Sis. Sis looks good. She looks pretty. She's not blonde. I don't know why they say it's blonde, but it's not. But yeah, the way I put it on is like, I see the middle part is right here. So I'm going to put this part right here. But I put on the front part first, like, and I bring it down like that. And then I go ahead and secure the back because, I mean, when you start securing the back, you see it's going to move up on its own anyway. Just make sure it's facing the front. And now I'm going to have to do a voiceover because my AC just cut on again and it's about to get dumb loud. Here I'm just using the three combs that are inside the wig to secure the wig onto my head. And then right here I'm just feeling myself a little too much. Alright y'all, now that I got the wig on my head the correct way how it's supposed to be, I'm going to go ahead and start laying down my edges since I do not glue down my wig. So I kind of use my edges as like a security type thing to keep the wig secure. And I just use got to be because I like to take my wigs off every night. So I noticed that the ends of my edges, well the edges of this wig are kind of like curled and I know normally people will probably cut that part off, but I actually like it. All right, now that I got one side done, I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. And this is not staying down, so. So be it. Now I'm just gonna move on to the other side. So I just finished the edges, and of course the AC turns on right when I'm um, ready to start talking. I'm gonna flat go iron the roots of this hair and, and, and start brushing out the curls to give it a more voluminous look and I recommend doing the flat ironing part with a hot comb instead of a flat iron like I'm using but I don't have a hot comb so I'm just going to use the flat iron because it works just as well. Now I'm just going to put a little got to be on the fronts of my hair to make sure that it lays down flat and to kind of give me a little bit of a lift in the front. I don't know if y'all know what I mean. And this is one of the last things that I'm going to do, which is brush out the hair so that it can be more fluffy and less uniform and flat. And I'm concentrating on doing like the parts of hair that's underneath that don't really show that much because I don't want frizz at the top of the hair. I just want it to be voluminous but look defined at the top. So this is how it's looking. You do not have to make it this big if you don't want it this big, but I love big hair. Even though I have a small head, so big hair doesn't look that great on me, but <laughs> that's not stopping me. So. I'm still fluffing, but you could have been stopped if you wanted to, but I recommend, so after this, you're going to see me going with some conditioner to help the top, like around, you know, this front, this top part right here. I'm going to go in and put some conditioner on that, but I would recommend putting mousse, but all I have right now is conditioner, so I'm going to use conditioner unless I luckily find some mousse in my room somewhere. But yeah, you're going to see me do that after I'm done fluffing, just so the top can be, you know, defined a little bit more. 
I do like my hair a little puffy, but you know, I like some definition in there too. So I'm gonna go in with the mousse for that part. And yeah, right now I'm still fluffing because I like really big hair. And I know a lot of people aren't fan of aren't fans of big hair, but I love big hair. Big hair is so pretty to me. So I think I'm about done now because <laughs> I'm making this humongous. So this is how it's looking. I really like this. This is so cute. Oh my god, this is so pretty, like. Okay, now I'm about to go see if I can find me some mousse. And I'm going to put that on the top of the hair if I do find it. If I don't find it, I'm just going to go in with conditioner. But hopefully I find some mousse. Okay, so this part is optional, but I found some mousse. This one's by Suave, and it says Captivating Curls. Um, I never really used this before, but it should do the trick. But I'm going to go ahead and put that up there. Y'all can't even see that. And I'm going to just... I'm going to try to carefully put it up there because, I mean, a lot just came out just now. This should redefine the hair. And I'm putting it at the top for more of a um, flattening effect type thing. But yeah, that's all I'm doing right here. Not at all on my arm. And I'm putting it at the top to, you know, keep it nice and flat i wanted this part right here in the front to sit up more but it's okay okay i think i'm pretty much done putting in mousse and this is going to be the final product I like how that's just in there like as like an advertising while I'm doing this, but this is going to be my final look. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks once I go outside. Like I'm going to do a little video with some music over it. Subscribe for more, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Shut the fuck up! Yes! Like, comment, subscribe for more content, guys. I'll see y'all soon in my next video that I'm about to do very, very soon. Bye.